Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and good morning. Uh, it is 8 o'clock right now and I'm about to go into work, but for today's video I thought it would be fun to show you another what I eat in a day, but a weekday version. I know last time I posted on a weekend and it got a little hectic and crazy, so I just wanted to show you what I eat during a weekday. Just real quick before we jump into the video, if you're new here, I post videos every Tuesday and Friday on beauty, wellness, and just general lifestyle content, so if that sounds like like something you're interested in I would love it if you would subscribe and join my community here on YouTube and then also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this style of content it really helps out my channel and helps let me know if you like to see more what I eat in a days so I'm not really a big breakfast eater so the first thing that I'm gonna eat and what I eat every morning for breakfast is a one bar this is the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor I love one bars they are my favorite like I said I eat them every single day Normally, I just don't want to film inside my work. That's why I'm telling you this right now. Another snack that I like to have in the mornings is Valley Pop popcorn. I already have it packaged. I love this popcorn. It's my favorite. I go through giant bags of it daily or weekly. This is all I eat in the mornings. I know, super nutritious, right? But I love it and it holds me over until about noon when I decide to eat lunch. So I'll check back in with you guys when I'm going to eat my lunch. All right, I'm back. It's 12 o'clock. It's lunch now. Um, I'm sitting in my car because I'm going to go run some errands. This is typically where I spend a lot of my lunch during the work week because it seems like I always have errands to run. So I typically just quick eat in my car and then go run them. So I already put my hair back ready to eat. Today I actually have food from a local restaurant. My dad picked us up food last night for dinner from this restaurant and I actually already ate so I decided to bring it for lunch instead of what I would normally bring which essentially the exact same thing but this is from a restaurant so it tastes better. So this is what it is. It's just a grilled chicken Caesar salad with some cavatappi noodles i think that's what these are cavatappi and then i always always ask for the dressing on the side and i will probably only use like a quarter of this i just find that restaurants completely slather their salads and anything that requires a condiment they just like load it all on there and you really don't need these excess calories i can just eat a little bit of this and it go use a little bit of this and it goes a long way so that's what i'm gonna do right now is just take like i said a quarter of it so yeah typically for lunch i always bring salads this is a huge salad so it will fill me up but i also always bring oatmeal and I love oatmeal and these are perfect if you're looking for something that's quick on the go and something that you might want to be able to bring to work. All that I do with these is fill up my cup with hot water and then pour them in there and easy peasy they're done ready to go ready to eat so these are the butter oats 100 calories brand in the apples and cinnamon flavor they have a lot of other flavors that i really like too and i really really love these and they always fill me up i eat them every single day for lunch i'm not even kidding ask my coworkers. <laughs> i'm almost back up to my maintenance calorie wise not quite yet but i'm almost there so i'm not eating as much as i should be eating for my body but i'm like i said i'm almost almost there. I'm currently eating two of these pouches, but if I was in a fat loss phase or trying to diet, I would probably only eat one of them. That's just to give you a little idea uh, on portions and obviously everybody's different. So this is what I have. I'm excited to dive in on the salad. It looks so good. These things will hold me over until dinner, which will probably be around six o'clock and then I will check back in with you then. All right, so I'm back. It's about six o'clock right now and I'm outside with my cat. I know that might sound weird, but my cat really enjoys coming outside and we don't really let her outside on her own. So she's kind of like trained like a dog and she's back over here right now and I she just stays near in by us. So I have to like take her out like I would a dog. But anyway, I just worked out. That's why I look like this. I've been so bad with my morning workouts lately. Anyone else? I love doing workouts in the morning, but I've just been so bad lately that I've, I've been leaving it to myself to have to get them done at night. And it's the worst having to do them after work. But anyway, now I'm eating dinner outside. Like I've mentioned, I've been spending so much time eating dinner outside because if I don't take my cat out, she cries the whole time I'm eating. 
compromise but this is what i'm eating i will show you it's just a stuffed pepper with ground beef mozzarella and brown rice the pepper is huge i don't know if you can tell in this video here's my hand for comparison it is really big and i'm excited to eat it because i'm starving all right i just propped you up right here so i hope this is an okay angle <laughs> i wanted to mention that something that i try to do with every single meal that i have is include a serving size of protein. Protein is so important if you're looking to tone up and get that tight, muscular, lean look. A lot of women especially are under eating on their protein, so a good rule of thumb if you don't track macros or calories or really have any idea is to try to include a serving of protein for every meal. It really makes a big difference. And the protein that I'm eating that's in this is ground beef, but a sneaky little trick for you is if you like like ground beef but you don't like the calories that comes with it or maybe you're not aware that ground beef is pretty high in calories and that's because of the fat amount that it has a tip would be to buy lean ground beef so the standard ground beef that I think most people buy and what I used to buy was 80 20 but now I always make sure to buy 96% lean ground beef so it has way less fat which means way less calories and when you're cooking it into stuff like this, you honestly can't even taste the difference. So definitely check that out and try that if you're looking to be healthier or maybe cut back on your calories a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna dive in and <laughs> eat my stuffed pepper. I'm so hungry and so excited and I definitely need to be refueled after this workout. And also, I tried to include me eating my salad, but it just was not very aesthetically pleasing. I realized how much of a messy eater I am and I've always been told I'm a messy eater bad habit I guess, but I didn't really realize it until watching that clip back. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so embarrassing. <laughs> So yes, my mom and sister were right when they told me when I was younger that I would never get a boyfriend because I would scare them away with my eating on the first date. But all right, now I'm actually gonna eat this pepper before it gets cold, so I will check back in with you guys when I'm going to eat a snack. I need to put these down before I stab myself. I am about to go for a walk, but I'm already having a post-dinner snack. It's little cookie. It's a sugar cookie, and they're by Sweet Lauren's, and they're just like the normal Nestle cookies that you like break apart and put on a pan and cook or and bake. They're super easy to make, but the brand is Sweet Lauren's. I will pop a picture up right here. These are the best cookies ever, and they're gluten-free. And they're definitely healthier for you than a Nestle cookie. So definitely check them out. The chocolate chunk is my favorite. You won't regret it. All right, I am back outside for my final meal of the day. It's 8.15 p.m. So we just got back from a walk and now I'm going to eat this and then get ready for bed. This is a little bit different than what I normally have. What I'm having tonight is Greek yogurt. This is the strawberry cheesecake flavor with some raspberries. The yogurt that I use is the Danon Light and Fit yogurt. I love that yogurt and I normally get the vanilla flavor. I'll pop a picture up of it right here so you can check it out if you're interested. But today I'm eating the strawberry cheesecake flavor because I already feel like I've kind of had my limit on carbs for the day and normally when I have vanilla I really like to put chocolate chips in it and strawberries and Cool Whip and make it a really yummy dessert but this will definitely curb my sweet tooth for the night so I will just have to enjoy my regular yogurt dish tomorrow but all right it's getting past my bedtime I'm a grandma so I'm going to eat this yogurt and then get ready for bed hope that you got a little bit of meal inspiration if you're trying to eat healthier or if you just are getting bored and want some new fun food ideas. I know that I love watching what I eat in the day, so I hope that this was beneficial to you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye. I used to think I